today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Genius Axis. Ta-da! You Orion. This is standard. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. Hey you, it's Blue. Or at least that's what a friend of mine starts calling. He just calls me Blue. Maybe I'll own it. You guys can yell, go Blue. Hey Blue, what's up Blue? Some people seem weird out in the real world saying CGB. Today, I'm still keeping up the struggle to try and hit Mythic, but I'm doing it with Mill. What makes my Mill deck different is I freely, happily, and joyfully give my opponents cards using Depopulate and Fateful Absence and cards of that type, and then go ahead and mill them out with Jace. The goal, just let them draw cards. Let them draw cards. Give them more cards. Here, draw cards. And then around turn eight, cast Jace, and then another Jace, and just mill them for 30. It's a wonderful little way to try to hit Mythic. It's one of my favorite decks. Will this be the one that gets the job done? Let's dive in and let the nonsense begin. Please check out the sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com and Moxfield. Just a little mythic. That's all I want. A little bit of mythic. So I can never play this format again and quit magic. Yeah, that's why. I'll draw land, right? I play 27. I'll get there. I'll definitely get there. My opponent won't curve out perfectly on me while I'm struggling for land. That doesn't happen. First land check. Also, if I get color screwed with this deck, I've got like, what is it, 16 dual lands or something? That would drive me crazy. Ooh, that's a beautiful card. A beautiful card. Thank you, deck. I never should have doubted you. It's a beautiful day. Sun is shining, birds are singing. Well, that's something. Who's got time for memory? Nobody. They have a safekeeping. I'm gonna feel really bad though. Iconoclast. Trigger, trigger. I think they have a lightning strike. That's my prediction. Run away. You'll be safer. If we kill the Kadama, they don't get another land. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. Okay, I got to untap. It's a miracle. I'm land? Never, done for good. never have a land. Guards, to me. Well, I'm taking the aggro road. Strike my samurai. Well, I'm doing this. And then I'm going to trigger the Celestis. And then I'm going to draw something nice, right? Okay. I'm just keeping all the removal spells. Trusting that lands will show up someday. Ride you go, Burr. Murex, cool. Yes, mill yourself. You don't even know you're being milled. I think we've hit the land flood now. It's gonna be like six lands in a row, so I can discard that one safely. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Adaptive. Yay, a creature without haste. Stormseeker, gross. Let's see what they do with that. Mm-hmm. Target, beautiful. I've learned much during my travels. Slice and dice. Let me show you. You're done. 
We fall to nine. We trigger Celestis again. Just gonna decline here. Jace. Long way to go. Pass, flip. Do this again. Still have much to do. keep watch for intruders. Trigger. <laughs> Another one. Well, that's some crap. And something else with haste, maybe? Yes. They're all coming at me. Oh, God, it's real. Everything hits so hard. Target? You. Okay. I guess they don't get any modified damage if I pick this, but then I'm taking the five here, but I'm jumping here. Eh. I guess this is the best. My judgment is final. Down to four. Enough is enough, Jace. You gotta go. Uh. Okay. He pop. And they're top decking. I have got new moves and we're on five. Strike my face, you got it. We must protect the people. Depop can go. We got plenty of haste thwarters. I think we can do this. I've lost some weird games though in weird spots. Is it another lightning strike? You've got to be joking. Back to back, off the top. All right, well, I guess we have to draw on a gate, right? Back to back, off the top, lightning strikes for lethal. Ugh. We lose, we lose to that. Terrible hand, but you gotta keep him. Control does not mulligan well. Opponent likes animals. So of course they're playing control. But that's why we keep hands like that, because when you're in the control mirrors, you don't feel bad about it. Okay, they play mending. Discard Smite and Stroke. Wow, Stroke? What would my hand have to be to discard that? Land Light, probably. Okay, and they're a mill deck. Let's just start shutting that down. I don't know what would make me do that. Maybe I have a lot of Jaces in hand? Because with a Mending, like, you could keep digging for land. Okay. Yeah, their early game is super awkward, clearly. They just discarded a land. What are they doing? I was about to say, it would be really nice to draw Jace right there. Seven. Is Seven plus nine, 16. Not quite there. All right, we hit another Jace. They play change the equation? Weird. Weird! Our opponent is weird. But we're doing it. We're doing the Jace thing. Clearly. <laughs> Main phase mending. Think, 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 mend. Sure. Illusion Union. 
Yeah, just having land travel all over the place. <laughs> Skyland. <laughs> yeah, do what you gotta do. Double Jace! I do have mana up for a counter now, though. Let's not be too hasty. Yeah, 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 dig. Dig, I say. 20 cards in graveyard, 30 in library. Let's see if they do anything about our memory. If they counter it, great. Okay, absence our Jace, sure. They did tap out. I don't think Wandering Emperor is going to matter in this matchup at all. The weak minded will be educated in Phyrexian's ways. Three They'll lands. We found your lands. I think we'll be okay without the dissipate. They can't double Jace us here. At least not for, like, as much as they need to to make a dent in us. They're gonna go for one Jace. They do get a draw three out of it. At which point... Ooh! Cannot win. Getting it, it's getting spicy. I guess we wait. See what they do. If we can get him to tap out, man. That is the ticket. If we just go to our turn, that might even be better. Because right now, they could interfere with this Jace when we're tapped out. And we need this Jace. Yeah, see? Upkeep stop. What you got? Nothing. Nothing! I'll take the cards. Another counter spell, and we're probably good. I know where to find Another Jace is pretty good, too. At 18. They are in range of Jace me for 9 and then Jace me for 15. That's not good enough. And two of the Jaces are gone. So let's go for it. Uh, or do we? Maybe we soul partition this chase. I think patience is good. Let's, uh... Oh, let's start that fight on their turn. Let's try to waste this turn for them. We need all of our mana to soul partition, soul partition, dissipate. And I think they're going to try to start some kind of fight on end step. And we don't mind discarding the hand size. A lot of these cards are just not going to matter. You're not going to matter. You're not going to matter. You're not going to matter. Your soul! Resolves. The knowledge we acquired is still valuable. Celestis for the rest of us. Six mana. They play counters. We saw a syncopate, a change the equation, a dissipate, a stroke. That's probably a negate. Okay. I would like to partition my Jace. <clears throat> probably get something out of them. Around 17 cards. Make your choice. A very expensive syncopate. Unless I have a spell pierce, this should be good. I will iterate on my performance. And they scoop it up. Jace into Jace does the job. Middle game complete. Alright. Easy six. Let's go. Keep it, draw land, be cool. All right, might be the ramp deck, which is an unlosable matchup unless we never draw land. 
Hey. Now that I've said that, I gotta back it up. They have invaded Zendikar. Memory deluge. Yeah, uh, we could run out this Jace and start the milling. They might pick it off with an angel, though. I think we just make them do something here, which they might be afraid to do into open mana. Wow, Eternal Wanderer, huh? Hmm. Okay. Weird. Let's see what they do. We'd probably just make a 2 2, right? Mm hmm. Thank you for your help. Well, I guess I need land to compete. And there were plenty of them coming. This for sure. I don't have another counter spell here, but I'm not afraid of this Eternal Wanderer yet. I think we just chill. The idea is to try to stall them until they have 30 cards in their library, then double jace them. I mean, depopulate will be good for that. Unless they run counter spells as well. Every now and then you get got by a negate in a deck like this. Uh, sure. I'll use my ramp one here. But don't minus it yet. You'll be safer. Not yet. This is why. <laughs> Gotta wait for that thing to be tapped. I'm sure their plan is just to make another this one. This is what you get for hurting my people. I brought back. Coast. I think this is going to be a memory deluge turn. The opponent will probably attack this wandering emperor, and that's fine. Remember your training. Trying to save all the depopulates for when the opponent builds a, builds a big board that must be answered. Uh, yeah, that's good. I was worried a bit about that. Let it go, let it go. Yep, depopulate, getting ready here. We'll take another one. We'll take an absence, I think. No. Absence taking care of the Eternal Wanderer is nice. And we'll take another Deluge. A fun thing they can do is flicker the Awakened Skyclave to get more land. Alright, almost there. We've got the double J's. They're gonna make disappear? Nope, cycle. So with double J's in hand, we kind of just want them to go below 30 cards. So they can play their Atraxa. You can play their herd migration. We don't really care. Or none of the above, I guess. But I guess we'll just keep developing. There's a Murex, here's an Absence. No reason to slam the Jaces early. Time is on our side. Just don't let them get any traction and we'll win. Elish Norn. Okay. We'll put some fake pressure on them with the Mirix. They don't know we're a Jace deck yet. Just 
Just let them feel right at home. Okay, make a bunch of creatures. Keep digging. There's another Jace. Uh, ooh, Sunfall. Not that we need it, though. Jace and Cove. I don't think they run make disappear. The weak minded will be educated in Phyrexian's ways. Nothing could be more vulnerable. 25 cards. Double Jace next turn should do it, but I like leaving the Jace on one just to get their attention and kind of hold their attention. They feel like they have to do something about it. Ossification. Atraxa. Noise. We see a binding. Yeah, no counters, just invasions. I wish I could, you know, just send them a message. Uh, you're dead. You don't have to worry too much about what you're picking out here. It's fine. Pew, 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 pew. Phyrexia showed me the truth. Flesh. To the dome. The knowledge we acquired is still valuable. All your hopes and dreams. Three cards. For nothing. And scoop them up. It's a good matchup. Every time you see ramp, you feel pretty good about yourself. Removal. Should do the job. Black. Scary. Sunset. You wanna pump it up? You wanna pump it up? No. Night of Dusk Shadow, no life gain. Interesting. Well, I think they want to pump up something. There's one. What else? Well, either way, kill one or the other, it does net us... ...life. Yep, there it is. Back to 20. Ready for your Shieldred. Whoa, snap and removal on my 1-1. One, one. And they're drawing cards. My plan. They're falling into my plan. Let's hope they just play around Wandering Emperor here and don't even attack and think that drawing cards is the way to defeat me. Of course, we don't have any card draw ourselves. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's Oath Sworn, sure. My Sunfall just got better. They didn't draw. Why didn't they draw? I know they have draw with the clue, but they should have drawn with the uh, sleeper, right? And then they still have the clue? Unless they're onto my plan. Maybe they know about my mill intentions. What a good draw that is. Oh, Emery Talyush, I love you. Gix, yeah. Don't panic, let him have a card. It's fine. Then we'll sweep him. Remember, the mill plan is intact. Epop.
That's a big worm. That is a big worm. Land drop. Win game. They don't even care what our win con is. The heck's up with that? Me against the world, baby. Come at me, Atroxa sleeve enchantments. Scrove on the play. Fair and balanced. Poison. Duelist, gross. Ooh, they're feeling feisty though. They attacked. So we do this now. And they were on the draw, they'd be in trouble. Let's see if they make their first three land drops like a real gamer. Dang, with good colors. Hard mode it is. What you gonna do? You're gonna think that's what they're gonna do. Ooh, Rot Priest. Try this now. Counter me, okay. These Wandering Emperor is up for grabs and they're down to one card left. Now they're holding up Skrelv. Okay. Sunfall. Just gotta get there. Wandering Emperor. Resolves. Gotta make the 2 2. If we use the targeted thing, the Skrelv gets us. Let me show you. we attempt to ambush the Rot Priest. So they're going to make the Rot Priest unblockable. Guards, we me. still get a block here. Five poison. Tick tock. Ooh, they tap out. Gnarly. Two free points? Don't think you're going to block. And then... When the sun fall... We will stand tall. Protect the people. Let's see their reload. Tap land Rot Priest. Well, if they're going to have one card, Rot Priest is probably a good one. Put a counter here. And I think we just try to clock them. We greet our enemies. This is a two turn clock, so we go beat down. I have been cheesed out by this deck enough to know do not give it an inch. Cycle time. All right, they need a big turn. Everything has to fall right into place. It's a land. With the dissipate, that should be enough. We're, we should have this covered. Even Steven. Good night, you toxic gamer. Three more wins. On the draw. Jace, dissipate two soul partition. Seems fun. What does a Galadriel deck all themed out play? Mono white. Or <laughs> scroll. <laughs> all right, another scroll on the play. That's going to be our theme today. Right into a recruitment officer. Pass. Okay, well, at least they're not attacking. They're playing careful. Maybe that's a good thing for us. Maybe they'll even just pass here and not uh, play into a make disappear. Hope that's what I have. Iganjo, probably their last land then. Brutal Cathar. Okay. Got 
Gotta get rid of the Skrelv. If we target the Brutal Cathar, they won't mind too much. Do we let them flip that Brutal Cathar? They have Dissipate up? I think we do. Just take our five. Ooh, I don't like that very much, to be honest. But without a sweeper, like, we can't fall behind on board, so... Not for long, anyway. Do we let them have their 3-3? Three, three? It's not like we can't pay the 3-life ward, it's just that I, I'm, I'm cheap. I don't want to pay. Okay. Okay. Effective nine, but we can clean up their stuff or we can play a Wandering Emperor. Let's go for the Emperor. Because if we double spell on our turn, and I can flip Day Knight. Now we still have a minus two available. They play a Thalia post combat. And play that before combat. All right, untap, land. Absence here. Two two here. Guards, to me. If we let their Skrelv come online, but I think they're going to try to make this, like, unblockable or play another Cathar. If they play another Cathar, that would be really bad for us. Let's see what happens. I don't think they have a third Cathar, but they have run them out there kind of liberally. Yep. Let's see what they do. has to be something like that. Then we have to wipe out their Skrelv. But that's why we secure the block first so they don't make the Brutal Cathar unblockable. And then we go... You... Plus on you, you plus here easily quelled. Remember your training pass. See what they do. We played out all our stuff. They still have a ton of resources, so we need some card draw. They still have plenty of cards in their library. Rope comes out. Who do they attack? They attack the Emperor. So we could reset the Emperor with a soul partition. I think we'll just set this back. But no counter spells anymore. They do have ossification, of course they do. Of course they do. All right. I wondered about that. Now we have to draw a way to get that thing to move. Depopulate can wait. Make a 2-2, two, two. they make a 3-3, three, three. we block. Well, if we pass, they flip, right? We must protect the people. Tough game for sure. No card draw yet for us. Memory deluge. Man, Sander just has these cards that are like, if you don't draw them, 
your entire game is bad. Memory Deluge for Blue White. Um, Liliana for Mono Black. I guess that's why people like red decks and white decks, because they don't need any one card. They just throw all their crappy bits at things until they die. Calyx for enchantments. Yep. Yep, bring them out. Love that for me. Stall, stall, stall. I have got new moves to teach you. That's a Skrelv. And a clue. And a land. Great. Well, at least they're drawing land too. Okay, they can double pump that. See if we can get lucky. That's lucky. It's not. Strike fast and strike hard. It does keep us from dying, so we get another draw, but like I said, no memory deluge. We're just gonna lose. Three straight deserted beaches. Thanks, Shuffler. You're cool. It's a hand. It has memory deluge, so it won't at least lose the way the last hand did. Mono red. Nice and easy. Think we can do this. Absence. I'll regret it if they have a Chandra, but they usually don't. I don't see many Chandras these days. Although three mana Planeswalkers are a lot better than they were in the time of Invoke Despair, so maybe there should be more Chandras. Two Feldens came to play, two Feldens left. Really just happy to get the Dissipate played in this spot. Alright, let's find land. Or not. Great. Love that for me. A little land screw against Mono Red. My 27 land pile that drew extra cards. <laughs> Go ahead. Fight me as hard as you can. Because I'm real stubborn. Sure. Sure. Why wouldn't this happen? Why wouldn't it? All right. Still land screwed. All memory deluge. Well, I've loaded my graveyard. Yay, they whiffed. This is a fun idea. You tell me there's a chance. It's not the foundry. But the best you can do. No creatures. Very weird. All right, well, out with you. Make them tap Next out if they want to cast that again. Shoes. My life total is still higher and they have no creatures. My revelry is literally useless. Ooh, three to face. Sure. Three more to face. Look at him go. If we draw land, the revelry does full value, right? Ugh. Beautiful. We 
Yeah, soul petition has to wait for Chandra to come back. Okay. You're good at magic. It's cool. Look at all the free, free, free value. I'll take three life. Jace. Oh man, what is with these hands? I don't think they'll go for the Chandra if I just take the damage and wait till end step. If I if they go for Chandra here, they get to kill the Wandering Emperor, so. It's not a good use of our turn. Okay. Well, we have a Sunfall, so that's good. You Slice and dice. I'm going to end it. Take the life. Go ahead and kill it. It was going to die to your creatures anyway, so that's fine. I guess that's that. I wasn't going to Sunfall until after the Kimana was gone. Negate for the Chandra. Hopefully we get to use it. Pretty good. I mean, still taking damage to cast these this Sunfall. What a weird game. Mm -hmm. This little candle's gonna set. They did have to tap the foundry, so they didn't draw land. Oh, and they're exiling. That's nice. We should all follow our hearts. Oh, wait. They had the land. They could have hit me with the foundry there. It's a big miss for them. I think. Do I let them plus this Chandra? Let them commit the man to something else? Yeah, I think we wait. The tap land kind of sealed it. Because we might have to Wandering Emperor. And they just keep hitting land. On, but on the bright side, they're not drawing those lands. Another Kimono. Boundary no attacky. We go to five. Let's see if they just kill me here. Run away. You'll be safe. We must protect Celestis. This is going to be close. I'm very nervous. Like their hand might be Warcrafting. If we can get their foundry to block. Jumping. Nope. <laughs> Party's over for okay. you, pal. Get out. Gotta burn Let's see what they do. Five life is not much. If they go for the Warcrafting, they don't replay the Chandra. And they do. They could have also targeted the Wandering Emperor. Oh, okay. Double Warcrafting. Easy. Never didn't have it. And they probably hit a land, too. What a chain of events. <laughs> Perfect play. Be back. Uh, double Jace. They're on 34 cards. 
Graveyard is at seven. So that's two points. This is three. Lightning strike from certain doom here. Well, they drew another land. Let's see. Can they exile something useful? They should have done it before combat if that was going to be the play. You know, they go for the damage. And lightning strike me? I'd love to. Not yet. All right, we've got a cove there. We've got another soul partition. The opponent's library is on 33. We have two Jaces. We're trying to get there. I think we're supposed to take soul partition and what? Tranquil Cove? I mean, free life. We're almost there after all. All right, double spell this turn for another life. So. Cove. Soul. No I'm wiped out. Sunfall. Go to five. What a weird game. They're on 32. Expensive Chandra. Exile, 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 exile. 31! One card away! And they hit land again! Oh no, another Kimono! We go to four. Just need one more card. Absence. Oh, I'll probably do it. Pass here, gain one life. I don't know what I'd keep over the two Jaces. Maybe something like a Dissipate that just ensured I live no matter what. Ah, adversary! Okay, how many times can they pay it? Twice? Does that mean I die? Are there two strikes? There's one play with fire. I don't think that does it. I don't think that's gonna do it. If we had milled them, it might have been. Try to the top. Don't have mana up to draw it. We have to power up and block. I don't know why I need this. I just do. Exactly 30. Retreat is surrender every last thought to Phyrexia. I've already read your thoughts. You hmm? Stop us. They, more Nothing. they untap oh. and they stoke the flames, obviously. Nope. <laughs> Got him. Good hand. First play will be a Dissipate or a Jace, so let's hope the opponent doesn't come out too vicious. And we're off. I will go to 21. Haha. -ha. A little bluffy. No bluff necessary. We chill. And the opening moves begin. Dissipate on the memory deluge opens up space to drop a perfected mind. I'll take note of all your Q. Hit him hard. One 
Wandering Emperor. Didn't get any counter spells. Did get a Mirix, but I would say that's not the mill I was looking for. Faithful Mending might be very helpful, though. You can be made to obey. Out of there. Don't want our Jace pressured now. Resolves. Our own Emperor. We got 13 cards in Grave. Let's keep plussing. Become subdued. Deluge. I guess let them choose their cards and resolve our Emperor so that we're defended. I think they have a march. Something's holding priority right there. My people must contend with me. May your blade strike true. All right, they've got a full grip. We've got nothing. We got to leverage this into a win somehow. Our own memory deluges would be nice, you know. Discard hand size, love it. Oh, they're that mill deck. Lovely. Just what we want to play against. All right, so they got 15 cards in grave. I have five. How do we get just a few more cards into their graveyard? I mean, do I just mill them here to draw? I need the cards. I guess I do. I could also have tried to be patient and wait for the breaker. Okay. I think we just hold that for mending. We are rewarded if we double spell this turn, though. But we could just activate the Celestis. Kind of like that. We're still stuck on mana. So they're in a pretty tight spot. This is going to be an interesting game all the way, I think. They definitely have the worst draw. But they probably have the better deck for the matchup with more mill. I can't imagine Sunset Revelry being that good. Well, it does draw a card. Which might be better than some of this. They might play Make Disappear, but I don't see it. I see Dissipate. Well, still, life total isn't likely to matter, so let's not take the tap land for no good reason. If we had to end step again, what do they have? March my Celestis? I'm glad I used it then. Bring it out. Get it! I think they have a make disappear. You saw them kind of check. It might be something else they're thinking about, but it feels like a make disappear. That is a draw. Let's make them deal with this Jace first. Strike fast and strike hard. Ooh, we get action from them. Another march. This means we could resolve this Jace. But if they're doing that, they probably don't have a good counter spell that they can use anyway. So I think we save this one. Just use this to draw. Pass because we can mend that land. So we're at 39 cards there at 27. They play out the tower on six mana. They draw now. They're all over the place with when they do stuff. Sometimes they do it on my end step. Sometimes they do it right away. 
our own sunset. I will mend. I have two up. Feels like make disappear, but now they can force me to pay four. Let's go for the draw three. Your victory is an illusion. Nothing, no secret. Can we see another dissipate? 23 cards, huh? Two mana up. Give him the combat. Double block. Sure. I think we can be patient here. I think we can run the memories down their throat on their end step. And then cast a Jace. Are they in a spot to double Jace me out? No. They aren't. They're just gonna hard cast that? Cool. Doesn't have haste in this case. Deluge. Dissipate. Soul. Deluge. Soul. Land. Soul partition. Jace. Tricks. Alright. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. Takes him down to 10. And then we can do another nine. We can get them down to one by using Soul Partition Recast Jace at the low cost. And then they are on zero when they go to their turn. Hmm. Not good enough. Surrender. Okay, no mauler. Get this exiled. Counter here. Dissipate up. Hold on to your butts. 28 cards. They would need double Jace and a Spell Pierce to win. Nine cards left. Oh, I milled two Jaces. There's another Jace. Do they have the Make Disappear now? Oh, that Dissipate. Okay. Well... They've got nine. So unless they get rid of this Jace, I don't think they can win. I will keep watch. Hmm. Become subdued. You can be made to obey. Does it resolve? Nah. <laughs> okay. You got it. In time, all will witness my friendship. I'll take note of all your failures. Your deck. All your Empty. Your Jace. Dead. God, that mill animation is sweet. I'm so glad they added it. Makes it like a whole new, whole new experience. All right, two wins. Two wins. Get Mythic, never play Standard again until Eldraine. Let's go! Opponent playing on full control. And they played a Rafine's Tower on one. Okay, I'll chill with the revelry. There is an argument to just draw, but I think my hand's okay. I can get to know them more. And it looks like just full-blown Esper control, which we should be okay against because we're the Jace deck. They're gonna play Union. What do they slam if I cast Deluge? They slam their own Jace? They might plus it and we absence them. I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing that could happen. I mean, are these cards good? Probably just want land. Happy to have some of that stuff on the bottom, though. 
There's an argument for Absence because they might be a Planeswalker deck, but they also might be a deck that only runs Wandering Emperor. You just don't really know. Speaking of... Guards, to me! See you later. Full value. Feels good. The train is rolling. Let's see if they want to tap out and slam something again. The fairy. Yikes. Slowing things down is just as delightful as speeding things up. Guess I wish I had the absence, huh? The fairy. Mending. Just throw Jace's at him, especially with a negate. Yeah, they might make disappear this. Okay. Amounts to an uncounterable counterspell. Because even if we negate the original, the other one resolves and we don't have the mana to pay. I've seen that one On the bright side, we get to check the Teferi. Wow. Heat on my tokens? Okay. And they're digging? Cool. I'm the mill deck. I don't mind. Now I just gotta set up a few more Jaces. Do this now because of potential dissipate stuff. Hold up the negate? Yeah, we'll hold up the negate. Timing's everything. I'm waiting for Mending, though, to sort out some other stuff. Like, I don't just want to cast it to get rid of lands. I need lands. Okay, they go for a Deluge, sure. Don't worry. It's only gonna be an interesting game, guys. It's gonna be an interesting game. Sure. Where are they at? 40 cards. 40 cards. Want to dissipate that? If they fly flash back a memory deluge, they could just die to double J's. Okay, they're going to make disappear it. Another negate. We just keep chilling. All the cards they want to draw are fine. If they're smart though, they Mirix hard. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna Mirix hard. Pretty good. Thirty-eight cards. Tap land. Poison up to three. Flash it back. Resolves. Right, Wandering Emperor to fight the tokens. Soul Partitions? Not very useful. Might miss a land drop. Just something you never want to do. But Memory Deluge can help. Two Wandering Emperors. Go for this. 
There's a land and a Jace. 38 cards. They've seen me checking the their library often, so I think they know the gist. Okay. Let it be. I have creature. Keep watch for intruders. Thirty five. See them just use some cut down shenanigans, kill this, attack the wandering emperor. I'm okay with all of that. Eternal wanderer. Eternal wanderer. Uh, let's fight. Get another make disappear out of them here. And then maybe we can go for it. What are we on? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we can go for it then. If they fight over this. Of course, uh, they still would have four more cards left in deck. They let that go. I'm tapped out. What are you going to do? Okay. All good. I'm never done for good. Depopulate. Well, definitely buys us a turn. turns are what we need. We're trying to get them down to 30 cards. Unfortunately, we have six lands, not seven, so we can't flash back. Ooh, Field of Ruin. Unless they target our Murex. What you got? Resolves. They are at 33. Contend with me. The main thing is that I'm trying to take out their win con of Mirix by having two two samurais on the board. Would you like the loot? Draw and discard what? Union. How many counters do you think they have? I've seen two make disappears. We must protect the people. All right, let's keep setting up. Let's try to find a few more counter spells. They've got five cards, and it's really unclear what those cards do. We've got two more dissipates in the deck and four soul partitions, which not a counter spell, but pretty effective weapon. Dissipate, and we'll grab another Wandering Emperor to keep the opponent busy. 31. So we're going to be in range here. They play their own Emperor. Got it. Four cards. They get the trigger. Now the Jaces are lethal. And we have enough to dissipate as well, but not to play around make disappear while we do it. And drop. Loot. Do not draw. Wow. Let's attack and get their attention. Show them how we greet our enemies. We could still have one more dissipate in our hand by being patient using the memory deluge. They have four cards. They must do something good. We shouldn't assume that everything will just go our way when we go for it. And right now we're not under stress. They are. Hole breaker horror. Can't be countered because standard. Okay. 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 Huh. Guess we should do this in response. Mm. 
another emperor, which is pretty good against the horror. Uh, I mean, we could try a sunfall. I don't think it'll work. I think we're better off just taking land. Target it now. They just respond with stuff on the stack. Let's just be careful about when we try to kill this thing. It's got to get to the Wandering Emperor, or else if it's tapped, we can just minus this. So they have to take some action here. I haven't seen a Holebreaker Horror in a hot minute, but I know that there's a reason it's not the big bad of standard anymore. You can usually outmaneuver it. Boards are really wide. Just wondering what they're going to pair with it to get the triggers they need. The answer right now is nothing. Fire at will. Let's see if we can get their reaction. Uh huh. Bouncing. I can pay. So they're going to bounce the horror. All right, that will fizzle the Fateful Absence. The horror is off the battlefield. They have enough to replay it, but not enough to do anything with it. But we got their make disappear. Let's go to combat. See if they want to flash it back in. I think we do this. We know about the horror. They have double or triple counterspell. We're in a tough spot. Ugh. But there's no way they do after playing that make disappear, right? But remember, they looted earlier and they did nothing? Maybe it's better to wait. They were on the worst case scenario. Let your blade do the talking. They Mirix here. They don't go for the horror. Ain't that interesting? I think they're probably going to sweep. Which is a healthy mana commitment as well. They draw land. They pass. Try to get the last counter spell and another land in my hand. Or another Jace. That works. Now life total is on the wrong trajectory. Remember your training. All right, what are they going to do? Can't do anything about that. Does this resolve? I think they have to put something on the stack to bounce this to my hand. Okay, they're going to dissipate it. Bounce a token. Yeah, there's the hard counter, and they have enough left for one more, I think. Unless it's two negates. So let's push their action by trying to kill their queen, Allbreaker Horror. So I'll partition the token. Hullbreaker targets Hullbreaker. Okay, let that resolve. Let that go to hand. So there are no more tick, no more triggers. Then this gets rid of this. That doesn't happen. This happens. And then we do this. Hello? I clicked it. Ah, scary. Resolves. Surrender your mind to Phyrexia. Millum. One Looks like they're out of stuff, and with perfect mana and perfect timing, we finish the job. Surrender every last thought to Phyrexia. Resolve your Celestis trigger. Game. Never didn't have it. One more win. I wish that were the mythic, though. I should get two notches for that. I cannot be beaten. With blue-white at my side.
and mill effects. Will this be the end of the climb? Will it be? Is this where Mono Red rises up against me? Or will it be enchantments in the flavor of the day? Or will yet another control mage try to see if they have what it takes? On the play? On the play. This hand is great. We might do nothing on turn two. Oh well. Don't thalia me. Do not thalia me. And don't mana screw me either. Do not thalia. 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 Do not. Beautiful. I guess we hold it though. They might have another one. Let's let them put something on the stack. Soldiers. We have to go through soldiers. Worst possible situation for this negate. Yeah, let's hold. They might have a second Thalia. We've got to draw lands. It's lands or, or L's. If they have a counter spell, they can't cast it off the courtyard. That might have been what all that hesitation was. But we need to get this Jace down and draw cards. Resolves. I think they have resolute reinforcements. I don't expect this Jace to actually live. I just need to draw the land. Can't miss another land drop against the Thalia deck. Yes. Now we need sweepers. Actually, I need another land if they play a if they play a land and replay Thalia. They had second Thalia. Knew it. They always have it. And they might have Make Disappear now, too. Which, I don't know how we beat that. Uh, just shove these Wandering Emperors at them. To the best of our ability. Must be found. Ah, come on, deck. Why are you like this? Not now. Not now. More reinforcements? Well, looks like Harbin time. I can't beat it. For the sake of Phyrexia, I will clear your... We go to 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Actually, not dead to Harbin, but I'd have to top a sweeper. Mural. Uh, that's probably game two. I've got to top a sweeper. No choice. Not a sweeper. Can't do anything on their turn. Gotta do it now. Been a bad matchup and a bad draw. In every sense, it's been a terrible top decking. Maybe now I can get paid for it? Maybe get a little lucky? Maybe? I, I mean, even if we do it, they're probably just going to draw really well and kill me anyway. Why would they do that now? There's no reason to do that now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dear God, punish this noob. Dear God, punish this noob. Top deck Sunfall. One time. I mean, maybe they're like me and just really like hitting land drops. God, that that really hurts. <laughs> to lose that game like that. That really hurts. Oh, my sweepers! Our opponent will definitely play control.
Oh god, what two drop do I play? I guess I get my revenge on soldiers. Yeah, play <laughs> well, this time I've got lands and sweepers. This time I'm not taking the damage. If they have second Thali, I'll just play the Jace. Hey, okay, officer. Going first, baby. Going first. It's it's a thing. <laughs> Ooh, their soldier brain is deep in the tank for this one. We might see the rare soldier rope. What do I do? Where do I go? What do I cast? Okay. Yeah, I get you, you get you that token. Uh huh. Yes. It might scoop right here. Full vengeance might be ob obtained. I do get to draw, but that just furthers my strategy. Hit him. Alright, so they're at 15 in graveyard. I'm trying to get to that beautiful draw three. I'm gonna play a brutal Cathar and a veteran, okay. They got two cards in hand. I'm on 20, they're on 20. We could pay the life. We could make two one ones. Yeah, let's try to lead them deeper and deeper into this depopulate. I really want to be able to blow these up, have them go up to 17, then minus the Jason draw three. But they're going to cast the Denic from the graveyard. That ruins my plan a little bit. Ah, they do draw a card from the Depopulate. Okay, that goes to the graveyard. We're good. So yeah, they should go to 17 and then 20. Beautiful. We'll see if they can reload. Something like a mural would be a problem. They're gonna pay up for Thalia. Don't activate the Incubator token until you're actually going to use it, so that the Brutal Cathar dies. They're just getting in for one here. Don't don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. They want to Brutal Cathar this token, and they can't as long as it's a for an artifact. 26 cards. Hmm. Really do want the dissipate cast, and right now they can't really attack me. Let's pass. Yep. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Hopefully they won't think I have more than one. Oh, okay. I see you. Daytime acquired. Do we kick it back to night? I guess so. Still doesn't get past the 4-4. Four four. Officer. Getting spooky. It's a card advantage source. We're, but if we find one more sweeper, it should do. We've pulled them into the board. Now we have to finish the job. 
They still have 20 cards in graveyard, so this is a draw three. Hmm. Depopulate or depopulate. Last card, do what? More negotiators have been protected. Okay. Still at 22. Not the end of the world. Spin the wheel. Trying to hit a Harbin here, but they don't have enough soldiers. They forget the Brute is not a soldier. But there you've got it. Are they going to cast it? Big moment. Land. Hmm. Pass turn. Uh, plaza, 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 plaza. Could save the Thalia. Oh, well. Could also draw with Recruitment Officer, which is also fine. Sky Strike. Good hit for them, but there go their creatures. And man, does this Incubator token hold it down if you don't activate it. Sweeper into Dissipate, baby. Old school magic. Arbin. Land. Jace. Let's take a draw three. Just solidify this win. We can improve upon your ideas. Alright, see if the Wandering Emperor can do the job. Or if they topped another counter spell. Oh wait, they can plaza here, right? I'll make them plaza. They could have plazaed against anything we might have thrown at them. So how many Jaces do we have left though? Two more. Still in a great position. I will iterate on my performance. Attack never and strike hard. Soul partition on my wandering emperor. Probably what I should have just done with the Jace win the game, right? But I'm enjoying myself. So don't make fun of me. Be nice. That's uh, um, a play you can make. I guess they're worried about the Wandering Emperor exiling the Harbin now. Not my intention here, though. I don't have to play it now. One Jace is game over. I don't see it though. Yes, I do. Fifteen. Surrender your mind to Phyrexius. Oh, my animation. Beautiful. One more. One freaking more. Final, final boss. Will this be the one? Go first. Yes. Thalia not going to break my stride this time. Two straight games against soldiers after really not playing them all day. Let's see what we have for a final, final boss. Deserted Beach. Control Mirror. And I have the memory. Whoa. Whoa. What? What the hell is this? Get out. I don't know what you're doing, but we're not doing it. Dissipate. Just gonna slam this. Don't know what they're up to. Oh, we got a counterspell and an emperor. Okay, they are also a control deck. It's much more of a control mirror than I even thought it might be. Ah, they have one too! 
no! <gasps> no! Flesh. All right. Well, I'm gonna need it. Soul partition. Okay. You can be made. Play this. Take my time. The fairy who slows the sunset. Get rid of there, Jace. The fairy is a pretty good mana advantage. I don't love it, but they're gonna mine us here. Oh, well, they're tapped low. We can deluge, but we can't deluge and keep up dissipate. Be pop. I, I do think we have to hit this land. That's pretty good. All right. Oh no! No! No, not like this. Okay. All right, it's a mill off and they have to ferry and realm breaker. No! Oh my God, no. Get those depopulates out of my life. I need those fateful absences. Get him. Give him the mill. Oh, we did hit it. Okay. Game continues. When do we do it? I don't want the Celestis loot that bad, so let's just wait till they target me with the invasion tree. We still need to get rid of this Realm Breaker, though. No land! Wait, they still get land from my graveyard anyway? I thought it had to be in the middle to group. Uh, and they got my Myrix? Okay. <gasps> it's not fair, but whatever. Slam your Jace. Do it. Do it, you coward. Don't just sit there. Don't just sit there. Don't just sit there. Go for the glory. Ah, yeah. This is fine, make the right play. Declines, because this is a mill off, and we've got to win it. Whiff on land, whiff on land, whiff on land. Yeah, that'll get him. Taste it. Thirty-eight cards. Also, fifteen cards in my graveyard. Almost a draw three from this Jace. They play Otawara. Wow. Okay. Let's try to go for the ride. They probably expected that. They allow it. We take a Jace. We bounce the Realm Breaker. That just buys time. We're in a mill off. Let's try to win it. Uh, I still think it's the take, though. Two Jaces. And then this Jace. Which is not quite a draw three, but do I want it to be? Could hit him for six, then try resolving another Jace. Let's go. Let's go. I will I will Any counter spells? One dissipate. Uh huh. Feels good. Negate me. So we got two mana left. Ouch. Come 
We gotta hope they're just out of counter spells. We can't beat them if they have counter spells and this. It's just not gonna happen. But my god, did we get out milled. Stupid freaking card. Alright. What do we do? What do we do? Gotta hope they don't have one. Come on, dude. You piece of garbage! My god! What a lucky piece of crap, man. Garbage. Pure garbage. Rigged. I'm on my lowest low. Two straight final boss gums. And now we're on the draw against enchantments. Or toxic. Either one. Like, going second is just game over. And are we going to get mana screwed? We will find out. feel like I have a chance, does it? Rigged. Land screwed? I mean, they're both kind of toxic too, but the duelist is worse. God. And we are back for the post-game wrap. And did it get the job done? No. Will anything get the job done? God, I don't know. I've been one win from Mythic so many times. But have I got more content coming for you? Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool. And please remember to check out the sponsor of the channel, CoolStuffInc.com and Moxfield.com. Bye. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of me, CGB, and you can get my unique Dragon Rider token and 5% off your entire order by using the code CGB5 at checkout. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this sweet dragon token. If you need singles for constructed or kitchen table play, and you want to pick up sealed product or the latest magic accessories, remember to use the code CGB5 at checkout for 5% off and get my Dragon Rider token. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.